Hi, this is Gene Coons with Vashon Island Tree Houses and Farm in our overgrown berry patch. We are putting in a blackberry trellis today and we got some thornless blackberries, which is pretty cool. Uh, the vines don't have thorns on them. And these are a huge variety. I'd have to look. I know one of them was called Columbia Giant, but these are going to be huge. They're already uh, as big around as my finger and probably half the size of my index finger. Anyways, we're going to be putting it into a, in a blackberry trellis today. We'll show you that. Uh, it's going to be a four-wire uh, trellis. The two wires on the bottom are going to be for new growth. And the two wires on the top are going to be for uh, the vines that are bearing the fruit. As most of you know, uh, blackberries grow on, or produce fruit on two-year-old cane. So as the new growth comes out, you string it along the bottom. And the bearing canes are on top. After those canes have have completed bearing fruit, you uh, cut them off, let them die, and then cut them off, and then you switch places. You put the new growth from this year up onto the top growth to get ready for bearing fruit the following year. So we're just going to do it with some recycled materials here. I uh, got some uh, lumber, some cedar posts, and a treated post uh, from some free places that I was able to acquire it. And we might put a metal post in the middle or two to keep it going. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so this is post number one. This is, uh, this is the technique that I use to put in posts. There's a lot of different ways, but this is just what I do. Um, if I only have a few, I've got a post hole digger. Uh, if I have a lot to do, um, We've got an attachment that we can use on a tractor that we're getting. So anyways, for this one, we're two feet down or so, maybe a little over two feet. And what I end up doing is I, I make sure that this is all, uh, the ground below this hole is all firm. I uh, bang it in pretty good. And then what I do is I pour dry concrete around the post and then I'll use a hose I'll fill it up about halfway, use a hose, spray water in that uh, concrete, and then I'll fill it up the next, the rest of the way with dry concrete and spray water on it again. There's moisture that's gonna be sucked out of the ground also, and it will get into the concrete and it, it'll cure. If any of you have ever left one of these concrete bags out somewhere or even in, uh, even, even in a shed where it's, it gathers moisture from the air it becomes hard and so i used to mix i used to pre-mix the concrete and pour it in wet and blah 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 uh, i don't do that anymore this is, seems like a lot easier so i'm gonna get this done make it make it level and move on to the next one all right so there we go first one in everything looks uh pretty good and level i'll just check both ways pretty good and level so uh, level and plum, I should say. Um, yeah, this works out really good. It's just a fast way to do things. And I've found that it ends up being as secure as if I had mixed the cement, went through the time and mixed the cement. So um, now I'm going to put one on the end. And then we'll probably put one or two poles in the middle. I might not totally cement those in. We'll just see what happens. Um, this was off of the uh, old old uh, swing set so there's actually five hooks i may end up doing five wires two bottoms for new growth and three for fruiting growth these vines seem to be pretty prolific so uh, we'll do that here's a tip when dealing with vines that have thorns uh, get yourself a pair of welding gloves these are awesome you can grab onto these and it doesn't go through at all. It's awesome. These are some uh, wild blackberries here. I know they're blossoming. We're, there'd be a lot of berries on these, but I'm wanting to get this other variety going. We have blackberries on Vashon Island growing all over our property. They're all over the island. 
you can in the in August end of July you can get buckets upon buckets of wild blackberries anywhere you want just about uh, so this is a different variety that I want to get going in here so we're gonna be clearing all of these out all right so I got the second post in everything's all plumb cemented and ready to go um, I think I've decided I'm gonna put two posts uh, in the middle so I will divide this section here into three and have posts evenly spaced in the middle that'll make it so that the wires don't sag this is going to be here for a while i'm going to end up putting turnbuckles on the on the end the probably this end and i'll be able to tighten up the wire as things stretch and things like that so and this one i may end up doing some supports with cable out to the side because not only is this going to be a corner support for this way but it's also going to be a corner support for that way for other berries uh, so uh, that way is is south so this is going to have all good sun this will have good morning sun uh, trim a few of these trees the tops in the forest and this will have good sun too so this will be a good berry spot so on to the other two posts in the middle these will probably end up being metal. It's just what I have. Making do with what I got. So here's a picture of the other two posts that I put in. Uh, these were metal posts off a friend's greenhouse that collapsed in the snow that we had. Uh, and all I did was uh, drill a hole through the posts and run the wire through them. And so this is the wiring that I used. It's a, I use a heavy gauge galvanized wire and it's connected solidly on that end i've got five wires on this two are going to be for new growth this year three uh, as the vines get bigger these three top ones will be full of the fruiting vines uh, so it's tied securely that way uh, on that end post run through the metal posts and then it comes to this other end post and i use turnbuckles I uh, just secured it as tight as I could, pull it uh, uh, with the turnbuckle fully loosened. And then as you turn this turnbuckle, it uh, tightens up, tightens up the wire. And that gives you, you know, this wire will stretch over the years. So that gives me some leniency to tighten it up even more. And on both corner posts, I use a, a wire with a turnbuckle coming down at approximately a 45 to a, uh, a secure area. This post is, is cemented in as well. This is our uh, gate post. So anyways, so I've, I've strung up some vines. So you can see these vines. This, this is a, a fairly new plant, but this vine uh, goes from here all the way back to there. So that's a, a good six to eight feet. We have some fruit on it already this year. I wasn't expecting much, but these are a different variety of blackberry that are supposed to be really big. And so it'll, it'll be interesting to see how big they get this year. Uh, next year should be phenomenal. All these, this new growth, I would imagine is gonna run the entire length of the wire and, and maybe even more by the end of the summer. And uh, then this fall, I will be moving that new growth from this year up to the three top wires and removing these fruiting vines right at the base of the plant and getting them out of here uh, to make ready for new growth next year. And this is, <laughs> this is just phenomenal. These are a different variety of blackberry. It's just, they're just huge. So this is gonna be fun. Again, this is Gene Coons with Vashon Island Tree Houses and Farm doing a berry trellis. We're creating a food forest here for the bed and breakfast on our property. Have a great day.